You probably recognize Mariska Hargitay as Olivia Benson, the most recognizable face of Law & Order Special Victims Unit. She's practically television royalty at this point. Behind the scenes, she also leads an amazing and interesting life. Keep watching to find out 10 things you didn't know about Mariska Hargitay. Starting off at number 10, she has the cutest way she met her husband. Mariska Hargitay has been the heart, soul, and face of the Law & Order franchise for over two decades. In fact, Mariska is the longest-running cast member of the show since its premiere in 1999. And that's saying a lot, since Law & Order SVU is the drama series with the greatest longevity of any in the franchise. Hargitay's love story with her now-husband Peter Herman started all the way back in 2002, when Herman was cast to play defense attorney Trevor Langan. You might also recognize Herman from his roles as Charles Brooks in TV Land's Younger, or from his role as the guy in the Purcell ProClean commercials. Over the years, after many flirtatious encounters, once filming rap, Herman asked Hargitay out for a date and to church. When Hargitay arrived at the date, she said she almost passed out because of her feelings towards Herman. She said, I thought, that's my husband. And during the church service, she was so moved and overwhelmed by her emotions that she sobbed right there and then. The couple got married in 2004 in a beautiful ceremony. Hargitay wore a pale pink Carolina Herrera gown with Herman's initials and their wedding date embroidered into the lining. In 2006, they had their first son, August, and then adopted their next two children, Amaya and Andrew. At number nine, she's the daughter of a Hollywood legend. Mariska Hargitay was born on the 23rd of January, 1964 in Santa Monica, California, to Mr. Universe, Mickey Hargitay, and Hollywood bombshell, Jane Mansfield. Well, if you don't know her, Jane Mansfield was a major Hollywood sex symbol during the 1950s and the early 1960s. She was a successful film, theater, and television actress, as well as a famous singer and nightclub entertainer, and one of the early Playboy Playmates. Her most iconic movies include The Girl Can't Help It, Too Hot to Handle, and Promises, Promises. According to Mariska, she wants her mother to be known not just as a bombshell, but a genius with a 160 IQ and as a person who played the violin and had five kids and loved dogs. When Mariska was only three years old in 1967, her mother tragically died in a devastating car crash. Trapped in the car with her were Mariska herself, Jane's boyfriend, Sam Brody, who also passed away from his injuries, and Mariska's two brothers. The crash was so insanely tragic that it led to the requirement of underride bars on semi-trailer trucks, which later became known as the Mansfield Bar. Mariska considers her mother's death a painful scar on her soul and paid a beautiful tribute to her mother during her wedding in 2004 by carrying a locket with a photo of her mother and her late grandmother. On to number eight, Ms. Beverly Hills, USA. Mariska Hargitay may have reached royalty status among celebrities, but she also has an actual crown. In 1982, Hargitay was declared Ms. Beverly Hills, USA. It comes as no surprise considering who her mother was and who her father was. On this special occasion, however, she didn't get her beauty pageant jeans from her iconic actress mother. She got them from her father, a former Mr. Universe. She also competed in Ms. California, USA, alongside the eventual winner of the Miss USA pageant, Julie Haya. Number seven, Kathy Griffin was her improv teacher. Now here's a fun fact. Did you know who influenced Hargitay's brilliant performances? None other than Kathy Griffin, legendary American comedian and actress. You probably recognize her from one of her many, many inappropriate moments with Anderson Cooper on live TV, or from her hilarious but controversial jokes concerning Donald Trump, aka the time she held up his severed head as a joke. After Hargitay left the UCLA School of Theatrical Film and Television to seriously pursue a career in acting, she went on to attend the Groundings Theater and School, where Kathy Griffin was her improv teacher. The two were reunited again in 2010 when Griffin appeared in a cameo on Law & Order. While we're on the subject of Hargitay's time at college, did you know that during her time at UCLA in the mid-80s, Hargitay got to go live through one of the most epic nights of her early career? She got to star in Ronnie Millsap's She Loves My Car music video. However, that very same night, she was arrested by the cops for the abundance of parking tickets she had racked up. Turns out, she had the troublesome habit of parking wherever she wished. The unpaid parking tickets accumulation unfortunately came back to haunt her that day. She was even still wearing the same outfit she'd worn for the music video when she was picked up by the police. On to number six, she's an awe-worthy activist. 
Hargate said she went through a deep spiritual experience when she was 15 years old. She was swimming off the coast of Hawaii and encountered a school of dolphins that surrounded her. On the show Law & Order SVU, she plays a detective who deals with the most horrific of crimes, including brutal sexual assaults. Her role affected her so much and resonated with so many fans that Hargate started receiving fan mail from assault survivors who felt a connection to Olivia Benson. These letters disclose the fans' personal stories of abuse. Some were even telling it for the first time. Her website states that she's received thousands of letters and emails. She wanted to find a way to respond to those brave survivors, and her response was to form the Joyful Heart Foundation. The Foundation's mission is to transform society's response to sexual assault, domestic violence, and child abuse, support survivors' healing, and end this violence forever. Since Joyful Heart Foundation's launch in 2004, the organization has raised over $200 million. Her advocacy for women and survivors doesn't end there. In 2017, Hargate also produced the brilliant and eye-opening HBO documentary, I Am Evidence, a documentary about the mind-blowing number of untested rape kits sitting ignored on dusty shelves. Coming in at number five, you can buy her Olivia Benson outfit. Hargate took several things away from playing Detective Benson. First, she got to exercise her impressive range of languages. She's fluent in five languages, which are English, Spanish, French, Italian, and Hungarian. But she also gets to take her outfits home. On the show, she's often seen wearing fashionable and delicate jewelry. She likes layering differently designed gold necklaces on top of her professional attire. A lot of those, including several pieces of her character wardrobe, are available for sale. And it's for an amazing cause, her Joyful Heart Foundation. Proceeds from buying one of those items goes towards helping survivors of sexual assault. Number 4. She's part of Taylor Swift's squad. Remember that iconic Taylor Swift music video for Bad Blood? You'll notice Mariska playing the badass Justice character. And that's because she's part of Taylor Swift's squad. The two are such good friends that Taylor Swift named one of her two cats after Hargate's Law & Order character, Olivia Benson. Swift also donated a reportedly generous amount of money to Hargate's foundation after Swift won her groping trial against DJ David Mueller. Number 3. Near Fatal Work Injury Actors who perform their own stunts can often get injured. Remember Dylan O'Brien breaking his cheekbone when he was filming the Maze Runner series? Or the thousands of times Tom Cruise got hurt when he was shooting the Mission Impossible movies? Mariska Hargate unfortunately joined the club of actors getting injured on the set when she was performing her own stunts for Law & Order SVU. Detective Olivia Benson was chasing a bad guy. And since Hargate always insisted on doing her own stunts, she's not so keen on it now, it was Hargate who jumped and landed wrong. She immediately felt something wrong inside, but nothing happened right away. She thought she'd simply gotten the wind knocked out of her. Soon enough, after the end of the workday, she started suffering from sharp pains and rushed to get tests done. Turns out, her right lung was 50% collapsed. She had to undergo surgery to repair her failing lung, which collapsed for a second time. In the end, though, she only managed to miss one episode of SEU's 10th season. That's how dedicated she is. Across the two decades she starred on the show, she's been noticeably absent from only 9 out of 480 episodes in total. Taking a look at number 2, her Hollywood Walk of Fame star is next to her mother's. Because of her legendary work on Law & Order, Hargate has earned many awards, including her very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She's the 2,511th star, and her spot is right next to the star of her mother. Both are located at 6328 Hollywood Boulevard. It's a lovely way to connect with her mother, especially when you consider that after Jane Mansfield's death, the legal fees were so expensive that her estate was barely afloat. At one point, people used to break into her house and steal her jewelry and other items. Jane Mansfield's belongings became something to be collected, and Hargate eventually had to buy back her mother's charm bracelet. Her Hollywood Walk of Fame star is not her only accomplishment. Hargate has also won both an Emmy and a Golden Globe for her role as Detective Olivia Benson. In 2011, she also received UCLA's TFT Distinguished Alumni Award at UCLA's June Commencement Ceremony. And now our number one most amazing fact. She almost wasn't Olivia Benson. We don't want to live in a world where Mariska Hargate hasn't been playing Detective Olivia Benson, but we were dangerously close to that grim reality. When Hargate auditioned for the role, she knew she was meant to play Olivia, and that feeling was further cemented after reading the script. However, when she got the callback, 
she found out that she wasn't the only serious candidate for the role. In true icon fashion, Hargitay took matters in her own hands and met with the series creator, Dick Wolf. She told him, Listen, you're confused. Here's the deal. I'm pretty sure this is me. This is my part. I'm serious. We're past this. Let's not even waste your time. And they didn't waste any time. Hargitay was cast, and the rest is history. Her role as Detective Benson has not only allowed her to achieve her dreams of becoming an actress, but it's also bringing in a pretty penny. Throughout a typical 22-episode season, Hargitay earns a whopping $500,000 per episode. That means she's bringing in $11 million per year in base salary earning alone. That's not taking into account other bonuses, which accumulate until it's estimated that she's earning $13 to $15 million a year from her day job. Well, that's it for today's list. If possible, these facts have made us love Mariska Hargitay even more. What do you think about these amazing facts? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified the next time we bring you another Celeb Glam Life video. Until then, goodbye.